So the MDT rubber jellies are a device that you install into the buttstock of your uh, chassis system. And what they do is they take the recoil energy that is transferred from your barrel action and your fire control system into the chassis and then dissipate it. Now, what all that means is that when you're shooting with the jellies installed, your shots are dampened more there. You feel less recoil. You are able to um, have a different vibration through the whole rifle. And what that translates to is the easier ability to spot your trace, spot your missed shots or hit shots, um, and stay on the gun a lot easier. The concept of dampers, you know, is something that I've been tossing around for the last few years. My thought was sort of similar to what you use in bows, that you put sort of limb savers or dampers in things that oscillate. During development, we tried all different types of profiles in the buttstock. We tried different interfaces between the buttstock and the chassis, between the interior foreign weights in the chassis and the exterior foreign weights in the chassis. We even tried replacing some weights. We started with uh, something like this. This is actually a second prototype, um, which then morphed into our pre-production prototype. It looks much like this. And what we found was the most significant impact of recoil reduction and vibration reduction was found with the buttstock dampers installed. So with an undampened chassis, a completely free system, everything vibrates for quite a bit longer. Um, whereas when you introduce the dampers, everything just shuts down. And that's where you get that dead feel from. You know, they take out some of the holes, they change the look of the buttstock, um, they fill in the, those gaps, um, reducing snag points and things like that. The faster the reticle settles down and is stable through the shot, the faster I'm able to pick up small, fine details of trace downrange, small splash or other artifacts of a bullet going near or on target. For an optional uh, aesthetic upgrade as well as a functional upgrade, they're a super cool uh, addition to the rifle. So one of the more important things about installing these is you want to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol or some dry lube or something that is uh, quick evaporate just on the outside edge of the dampers where you install them into the buttstock, center them up and then just leave them and they'll stay perfectly just friction held in place.